creative guide here at Wild Rose Bohemian. Thank you so much for taking a moment from your day to join me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're so glad you're here. I just want to share with you today, it's the second Saturday of the month. And we're going to be having what's called Rose's Monthly Challenge. So on, on the second Saturday of the month, I'm going to issue a challenge. And the challenge will be not only to my Facebook group, where you'll be able to um, collect this freebie I'm going to show you. But um, also, I'm going to extend it out to all of the makers out there. And if you'd like to add the hashtag there, too and show us what you did with some of these freebies, that would be awesome. I'm all about extending the community and I'm fairly new to getting my YouTube channel to um, have content, at least this past couple months, year or so. And so um, if you're in that boat too and you'd like to support one another, I'd love it if you worked with these freebies too or contact me anytime. Uh, to work with any of the digitals in my shop. I have about 700 of them for you to choose from, and I'd love to support you in that way. Okay, so with no further ado, let me dive in and share with you what the challenge is for this month of November. So the, for the month of November, your challenge is to create a tag in the journal that you are working in. Um, I've been working in the Winter Whites journal, which is the October subscription kit for Wild Rose Bohemian and I've been working in my Nutcracker journal because uh, we've been doing a collaboration the Sugar Plum Stories um, and generally tags are in this typical shape and I love that shape please do not get me wrong absolutely love it but I wanted to create a little bit more variety and interest in some of the things that um, I'm doing and so I came up with some different ideas for shapes of tags. So your challenge is to create a tag, but to create a tag in a different shape that is not a typical tag shape. So how can you utilize a different shape of tag? So here's some examples. For example, this one here, let's see, I may need to, I don't know if you can see, this is a flyer sled. Here's another one. It's a flyer sled. I probably need some kind of hanging something, but I thought those were super cute. Here is a mitten, which could be stuffed, and it probably needs a little bit more embellishment too, maybe a tag to hang and to be stuffed. Here's a stocking. This one also is stuffable. Um, and then, the, you know, the typical round shape, that's another alternative shape you could use. Um, how about a charcuterie board? Probably butchering the, the uh, saying of that word. I think it's charcuterie. Okay, just some examples there. Um, and then on because of the nutcracker, collaboration that we're doing you might have noticed maybe not but there's freebie number two that's on my coffee site has a ton of the nutcracker silhouettes this is one of them so I made some of those um, in a previous video and I just have some glitter and stuff on that but you could get that download that for free if you want to if you're working with the nutcracker uh, collaboration your challenge is to, you know, create a tag using one of those. And my idea was, is that if you take some of the templates I've created, this is the freebie. This is just a few of the pages of the freebie. It's an eight page freebie that has templates for you to, you can either use, um, these things themselves. Or my hope is that what you will do is actually glue these to some cardboard and then the journal that you're working in, if you're not working in our winter whites, these all match the winter whites collection. Um, but you can 
glue these to some cardboard and then um, utilize the shape to make a tag that matches the journal you're working on. So I'd love to see that if, if you so choose to do that. Um, and then one thing I wanted to mention about the, the tag shapes that are symmetrical. One thing that you can do, this one I used three, but you can print multiple of them and even create a small story. And this is not a story, but you see there's multiple images that make something really nice in the center of your journal. So with that said, um, thank you again for joining me. This is the freebie that will be uh, linked in the comment box below. I'll also link the uh, freebie number two from the collaboration that has some different shapes for you. And because you took the time out of your busy day to spend some time with me, I wanted to share with you the Winter Whites collection has a it's a new listing which is a bunch of Christmas tags. So there are another alternative way to do it. This is just a very few, some of the pages from that collection. I would love to, to gift you, I think the most discount I can give on coffee is 95%. So I think it ends up being like 10 cents or something like that. It pays the small coffee fee that's there. So, um, but the only way that you're going to get it at that price is if you use the code winter white. And I will also put that in the in the description box below that's on my coffee site so that'd be a gift to you for watching so thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful day see you in the next video oh and if you like the content any like and um comment is so appreciated and even better subscribe so that you'll be notified when we add new content to the channel thank you so much